This is Zachary One on Wolf. We are back. Woo! Spent a lot of time in the Nether, didn't we? Hope you guys enjoyed that chase scene. Enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. But uh, yeah. Back with a new mod. Oh crap! That might have ruined it. I didn't know he did that though. Uh, we're back with another mod. That's uh pretty cool. It makes it so you're not forever alone. Steve! Yes, you have a friend. He talks to you. <laughs> but, uh, this does work. This mod, like, if you already have a world, as you can see here, I did not spawn him in. He, uh, came in. So, I'm gonna go over a few of the controls, just because this is hard to understand. You, you can't hurt him. Wilson, Steve, you know. Uh, you know, I, I thought they wanted to get to know each other, so I put them in here. But, uh, anyway, I just came back from the nether, and let's go over this mod. Now, if I press U, you press U, and it opens his inventory. Now, this is, I'm going to explain everything in here. This is just your main inventory. These are your main inventory slots. These are the only two things that are different. Now, if I press E, or whatever, and get out of that, and hold the sword, and throw it at his feet, he'll pick it up, and uh, this is basically his armed slot, this is what he will hold, so like, I could give him anything, and if you put it in there, that's what it'll hold, oh, this is hard to do, crap, Steve, um, there we go, now, let's pick this up, now you can also this this is what this is the green box is what you do you put a feather in it only a feather it won't work with anything else you put a feather in it he'll wait and stay there if you take the feather out see it says following waiting following waiting so yeah if he follows then he'll move around and follow you but if you put it in there uh starting to get a little bored here yeah sorry buddy well, let's, let's take you on it. Yeah, I th you don't have to be any close to him at all. You can just sort of like open his inventory from wherever. I'm pretty sure. Now, what we also we can do, we can press U. Wait, no, no, no. Stay still. Okay. And we can give him some armor, and he won't automatically equip it, but we can equip it for him, and uh, we'll pimp him out. Yeah. So now it's time. Let's go. Okay, I don't, don't want him to fall off my mountain. Alright. Oh, sorry. There you go. Come on, Steve. Teamwork. Oh. He's more pimped out than I am. That's a shame. Well, I don't know. What should we do? We should kill monsters, but... I'm gonna need to make a stairway down because I'm I want to keep this mod. This is a cool mod because you can give him diamonds and stuff, and they'll get pimped out. I probably won't give him diamonds though because when he dies, I don't know if he drops his stuff. Yeah. Um. Probably be a better idea to do this at night. Wouldn't you agree, sir? So yeah. Now you can change his name and his skin. Skin, I'm not too sure about, but there's a folder inside the mods that you installed called the configuration. So if you don't want his name to be Steve, you could change it to Billy, Bob, Joe, Hizzle, or something. Uh, stay right there. Yeah. Another thing, you can also just give him stuff to hold. Like, it's a good idea, just this mod in general, because you could go into a cave maybe. And forget your stuff, or, or not forget your stuff, but have too much stuff. You can give him some stuff to hold. But I'm pretty sure his his inventory is only as big as yours is. Oh no, yours is a little bit bigger. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Uh, I want to show him off, but I can't really because it's daytime. Nothing really to attack. It's there. Okay, I'm gonna make more bread. 
Okay, uh... Let's find something. We can find something under my mountain, I'm sure. I'm sure there's something there. Come on. Uh, we're gonna be very careful going down this mountain, Steve. Now his, uh, following, uh, GUI or whatever it's called. GUI, no, that's not... Whatever, whatever makes him follow you, it's pretty good. He'll he'll pretty much do exactly what you do if it's like narrow, and I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, well, he follows you basically. So, see a skeleton. Come on, Steve. You could also give him a bow, and but to give him a bow, you have to make sure he has arrows. Now, see, he he will attack a few things. The main point of it is though, if it attacks you, he'll attack it. If it, like, it can be shooting at you, and I th I'm pretty sure it'll. What well, it kind of looks like a creeper face? Anyway, it can attack you, and uh, as long as it doesn't hit you, I'm sure I think he'll stay there. But if it does hit you, oh, an Enderman! Oh come on, Steve, we gotta rape them guys. Can't see very well in here, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Cheater! Kick his ass! Come on, Steve. Steve, hurry up. Where'd he go? Whatever, let's kill these zombies. He also doesn't really know how to stay focused on one guy at a time. Like, if this hits me. Oh, he's attacking him. Oh, I died. <laughs> Crap. But, you see the point. You see the main point of the mod. So, is he dead? Did he die from that explosion? Ah, go Steve! Hardcore. He probably has some of my stuff. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Let me grab my stuff. Bread. Dirt. Uh. Yeah, you have some of my stuff. All right, let me get situated here. Right now, we're gonna press U and get my stuff back. Thanks, bro. You're hardcore, man. You're just like. Explosions don't phase me. Now, one thing that I'm wondering, will if I like if I cut that, will you cut that? I'm wondering if he'll like work with you. Like, if you cut down a tree, will he cut down a tree? If you give him an axe, maybe. Don't know. Where? Where, buddy? Tell me. Um, hmm. Creeper, you say? I don't see a creeper. Sorry, man. I think you're tripping. I want to light this area up down here. It's probably a good idea. I probably should have done it a while ago. I could also turn my brightness down. I don't want to look at that ender, dude. Ender, brah. Ender, brah. Come on, Steve. That looks like a creeper face. Kind of. Now it looks like no, it's wrong. That. It out. No. Whatever, we'll leave it. It's cool. Mom. Mm hmm. This world is so confused. <laughs> I don't know how I'm saying that, but like, look at this. It's like. The generations are so strange. Oh, Steve, are you parkour? Oh, you're parkour, man. You're parkour. Now, the only issue I see with him is, uh... <laughs> Crap, okay. The only issue I see with him is if I want to play an adventure map, he's gonna be like, Okay, come on. And, well, that's not an issue, because that'd be kind of cool, you know? But he'll be in the adventure map, but... You'll need him to do some parkour eventually that won't be fun do you like parkour steve are you parkour he's parkour 
he's not parkour, he's hardcore parkour. Yep, so I'm, I'm, t I'm gonna be taking Steve pretty much everywhere. Another thing that I thought about this though is, um, it might be better to give him your diamonds. Because think of it this way. You're in a cave, right? And then if you die, you can literally just press U from anywhere and take the diamonds out. Which is kind of cheap, but it works. So yeah, I'm going to keep this mod, and uh, we're going to go on some mining adventures. This will probably be the first time you guys see me mining. So uh, that'll be next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment and subscribe and leave constructive criticism. My name is Zachary Wonder Wolf, and I bid you a farewell. Wait, wait. I don't, I'm not the only one. Steve says bye to you. <laughs>